हेलो पीजी स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगेन विथ बैक्टीरियल सिस्टमैटिक्स ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर आर टू डेज लेक्चर इज स्पीशीज कंसेप्ट इन प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड यू कैरियोट्स नो लेट्स गो बैक वेन वी फर्स्ट गॉट इंट्रोड्यूस टू दिस वर्ड्स प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड यू कैरियोट्स वट आर प्रोकैरियोट्स दे आर यूनिसेल ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट लैक ऑर्गेनल्स और अदर इंटरनल मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड स्ट्रक्चर्स दे डू नॉट हैव न्यूक्लियस बट इंस्टेड जनरली हैव अ सिंगल क्रोमोजोम what is an eukaryote an organism consisting of a cell or cells in which the genetic material is dna in the form of chromosomes contained within a distinct nucleus now this image you can see the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes most prokaryotes are unicellular most eukaryotes are multicellular In prokaryotes the nucleus is poorly defined due to the absence of a nuclear membrane and nucleolus is absent In eukaryotes the nucleus is well defined and is surrounded by a nuclear membrane and nucleolus is present Cell organelles such as plastids mitochondria golgi bodies are absent in prokaryotes Cell organelles such as plastids mitochondria golgi bodies are present in eukaryotes bacteria and blue green blue green algae are prokaryotic cells fungi plant and animal cells are eukaryotic cells i know you are familiar with these terms as well as the differences this is the cell structure of prokaryote and eukaryotic cell let's see intracellular uh, cell structure the bacterial cell is surrounded by a cell membrane which is made primarily of phospholipids now this membrane it encloses the contents of the cell and acts as a barrier to hold nutrients proteins and other essential components now unlike eukaryotic cells bacteria usually lack large membrane bound structures in their cytoplasm such as nucleus mitochondria chloroplast and the other organelles present in eukaryotic cells now however some bacteria have protein bound organelles in the cytoplasm which compartmentalize aspects of bacterial metabolism such as carboxysome additionally bacteria have a multi component cytoskeleton to control the localization of proteins and nucleic acids within the cells and even to manage the process of cell division this is the cell structure now let's see the extracellular uh, structure around the outside of the cell membrane is the cell wall okay bacterial cell walls are made of peptidoglycan also called as murine which is made from polysaccharide chains cross linked by peptides containing d amino acids bacterial cell walls are different from the cell walls of plants and fungi which are made of cellulose and chitin respectively okay one more thing uh, the cell wall is essential to the survival of many bacteria and the antibiotic penicillin produced by a fungus called penicillium which is able to kill bacteria by inhibiting a step in uh, synthesis of peptidoglycan okay eukaryotic cell structure eukaryotic cells are larger than prokaryotic cell and have a true nucleus membrane bound organelles and rod shaped chromosomes the nucleus houses the cells dna and directs the synthesis of proteins and ribosomes it also contains several other types of organelles which may include mitochondria chloroplast endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus and lysosomes each of these organelles performs a specific function critical to the cell survival this is the cell structure now moving ahead what is systematics study of diversity of the organisms and their relationship comprising classification nomenclature and identification okay let me tell you 
because of the huge diversity of living organism it is desirable to classify or arrange them into groups based on their uh, mutual similarities fine is this clear that's why taxonomy is derived and taxonomy came from the greek word taxa means meaning arrangement or order and nomos taxonomy nomos means to distribute or govern it is also defined as the science of biological classification now in a bro uh, border sense it consists of three separate but interrelated part classification nomenclature and identification that's how it is defined okay now classification is arrangement of organism into groups or taxa or evolutionary relatedness phylogenetic okay nomenclature is the branch of taxonomy concerned with assignment of names to taxonomic groups in agreement with published rules understood identification it's the practical side of taxonomy the process determining that the particular isolate belongs to a recognized taxa fine now major taxonomic groups are species genera families orders classes phyla and domain now they constitute a large domain of prokaryotic microorganisms typically a few micrometers in length bacteria have a number of shapes ranging from spheres to rods and spirals okay now you are understanding bacteria were among the first life forms to appear on earth and are present in most of its habitats bacteria they also inhabit soil water acidic hot springs radioactive waste and deep biosphere of earth's crust they also live in symbiotic and parasitic relationship with plants and animals bacteria most bacteria they have not been uh, characterized and only about 27% of the bacterial phyla have species that can be grown in the laboratory okay so there there is so much to work on okay now let me tell you its significance it allows us to organize huge amount of knowledge about organism because all numbers of particular group share many characteristics now in a sense it is a giant filling system or library catalog that provides easy access to the information the more accurate the classification the more it is useful for information understood moving ahead now systematics therefore encompasses disciplines such as morphology ecology epidemiology biochemistry molecular biology and physiology of bacteria now let's understand importance of bacterial taxonomy we'll go one by one bacterial taxonomy senses to be a library catalog as i told you its a significance therefore taxonomy helps classifying and arranging diversity of bacteria into groups or taxa on the basis of their similarities and evolutionary relatedness second the science of bacteriology is not possible without taxonomy because the later places bacteria in meaningful useful groups with precise names so that bacteriologist can work with them and communicate efficiently next 
Bacterial taxonomy helps bacteriologists to make predictions and frame hypotheses for further research. Contribution of bacterial taxonomy in accurately identifying bacteria is of practical significance. Now for convenience, bacterial taxonomy contributes particularly in the area of clinical microbiology. Treatment of bacterial disease often become ex uh, exceptionally difficult if the pathogen is not properly identified. Understood? Now let's see ranks or uh, levels of bacterial taxonomy. In a uh, bacterial uh, uh, taxonomy, we can say that bacterium is placed within a small but homogeneous group in a rank or level. Groups of this rank or level unite creating a group of higher rank or level. The most commonly used ranks or levels in their ascending order are species, genera, families, orders, classes, phyla, domain. I told you. Okay. Species. It's the basic taxonomic group in bacterial taxonomy. Groups of species are then collected into genera. Groups of genera are collected into families, families into orders, orders into classes, classes into phyla, and phyla into domain. The highest rank or uh, level. Understood? Groups of bacteria at each rank or level have names with endings or suffixes characteristic to that rank or level. Okay? Now let's see characteristic used in bacterial taxonomy. First, classical characteristic or ca classical taxonomy. Several phenotypic characteristic, example morphological, physiological, metabolic, ecological, and genetic analysis have been used in bacterial taxonomy for many years. So let's see morphological characters. Various morphological features, example cell shape, cell size, colonial morphology, arrangement of flagella, cell motility mechanism, ultrastructural characteristics, staining behavior, endospore formation, spore morphology, and many more. They are used to classify and identify organisms. Okay. Now let's see physiological and metabolic characteristics. Some physiological and metabolic characteristics are very useful in classifying and identifying microorganisms because they are directly related to the nature and activity of microbial enzymes and they transport proteins. Some uh, most important physiological and metabolic characteristics used in microbial taxonomy are nutritional types, cell wall components, carbon and nitrogen sources, energy metabolism, osmotic tolerance, oxygen relationship, temperature relationship, salt requirements and tolerance, secondary metabolites, storage inclusions, etc. Fine. Now let's see ecological. Ecological characteristic that is the uh, characteristic of uh, relationship of microorganisms to the environment significant contribute in microbial taxonomy it is because even very closely related microorganisms may vary considerably with respect to their ecological characteristic fine now the comparative analysis of living and fossil species including the discovery description evolutionary relationship to other species and patterns of geographic distribution has been seen because systematics involves in crucial activities of describing and understanding the history of life, it is the primary science of biological diversity. In general, systematics can be divided into four major fields. Taxonomy, classification, fourth is uh, component of systematics is biogeography and histor uh, historical biogeography. Okay. We will continue in the next lecture uh, with bacterial systematics 
इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स डू आस्क मी थैंक यू